Hi, welcome to Corby's Book Club, where I tell you about books that I've read that I think you might enjoy. She was a book nerd, she had blonde hair. First up is a book called Mating. It's by Norman Rush. It was published in 1991 and won the National Book Award that year. Mating is set in Botswana in Africa in the early 1980s. It's written in the first person by an unnamed narrator, a PhD candidate in anthropology. She's frustrated, her thesis has kind of come to a dead end and she doesn't know what to do with herself. So she's kind of casting about Gaborone, the capital of Botswana, wondering what next. She goes to this party and sees this guy speak. Uh, he's kind of an academic rock star. His name is Nelson De Noon. He is, by every indication, a smart girl's dreamboat. He's integrated, feminist, well-spoken, handsome, and he's running an experimental community in a secret location out in the Kalahari Desert. They briefly meet, he makes quite an impression on her, and a short while later, she sets out to find this man and court him. What follows is a funny, smart love story about two people trying to discover what love between equals might look like. Mating is one of these books that people either love or hate. I, I loved it. I thought it was funny. Um, it's a rollicking joyride. Not for everyone. Uh, if you like a tightly constructed plot, this might not be your thing. But if you are the kind of person who overanalyzes everything inside and outside of yourself, uh, you will find a kindred spirit in the narrator. She's also just inherently funny, as is Danoon, and they have lots of banter uh, that is <clears throat> either hilarious or exhausting, depending on who you are. Quick pitch, if you can, pick up Mating at your local bookstore. Mine is Parnassus in Nashville. You can order it on Amazon, of course, and no one will know if you do. But um, part of the joy of being in a reading community is being in that community and helping it grow and live and prosper. Lastly, word of the week is celerity, which means swiftness of movement. For instance, my cat Jack only has three legs, but he moves with all the celerity of his four-legged companions. Thanks for watching. See you next week. She was a book nerd. She had blonde hair with a paper bag in her back pocket. With words that I came across that I didn't know. Fair complected. Okay, I can kind of guess what that is. Uh, armen armamentarium. Armamentarium. I bet that's like an armory or something like that. Decompensate. I feel like I should know what that means.